Five years ago, my good friend Owen asked me if I wanted to start a YouTube channel with him. And of course, I did. At the time, I was only 11 years old, and both of us really knew nothing about making videos on YouTube, and we didn't really know how to record them and stuff. So because of that, for the first couple of weeks, we didn't even upload any videos yet. When we first started, one of the main games that we actually played was Geometry Dash. And basically, there was this thing in it, where at the end of a game, it would give you the option to save that uh, recording, and then you were able to upload it to YouTube through that. And that was how we made our first few videos, which, uh, actually in the background, that's uh, the first ever, ever video that I uploaded. So originally, the channel was called Donnie and Owen Gaming, which, obviously, that's not the best name, but honestly, if you came up with anything else, it probably would have been even more stupid. So right here is our first ever uh, profile picture for our YouTube channel. And uh, I created it on this app that you see, it's called Pick Monkey. Obviously, it's not that great, but at the time, I was, I was like, really proud of it. Eventually, I figured out that I was able to create videos and stream on my PlayStation, basically just by pressing the share button. This was really good for me, because the PlayStation was really the only thing I played games on. And now that I knew how to record on it, I was able to record games like uh, Minecraft, Plants vs. Zombies, as you can see in the background. And there was plenty of other games. But the only problem was, at the time, I really only live streamed, and I think the main reason was only because I, I thought it was a lot easier if I just live streamed it. Plus, I, I didn't really know how to use Share Factory, which was the editor on PlayStation. Basically, what this meant was that whenever I wanted to do a video, I would have to do it like all straight through. So if I messed up something, I would just have to go with it, or I would have to restart the entire thing. So around the time that I started uploading my PlayStation, we started using this new profile picture, which I made. And uh, basically, I just put two of my favorite basketball players, red background, and Donnie you know, Gaming. <laughs> sure, it didn't exactly go with the uh, theme of the channel, but I still liked it. I didn't know at the time, but these two videos here from May of 2016 would be the last that Owen would upload on the channel. And the main reason for him to stop uploading was that he didn't really know what to make videos on anymore. And we never really um, had many games that we could play together and upload because he played on PC, I played on PlayStation, and there, especially back then there wasn't much crossplay, so he didn't really know what to upload. So things kind of stayed the same for a while, except I was the only one uploading now, and I, I still really only did streams. But in October of 2017, something changed, and I did a video where I just put some of my best goals from Rocket League and put them into one video. And although this wasn't the greatest video ever, it was, first of all, the first video where I actually added in my own music. And, um, you know, I actually went and edited it. And it kind of changed how I started to make videos. It was around that time that I first started playing Fortnite. And within a month of that Rocket League video, I uploaded my first Fortnite Funny Moments. And that's a series that I still do today. Uh, not as often as I used to, because I try to come out with new videos. So in early 2018, it was nearly a year and a half since I went up there. And one of my good friends from PlayStation, Aface, asked me if he could do YouTube with me. And I said, sure, because, you know, I hadn't uploaded in a really long time. And, you know, I thought it'd be good to have someone else to upload with me. We then decided to change the channel name to Donnie and Aface Gaming. And this was our avatar. But, fortunately, Aface never really uploaded much. He did a few streams, a couple of videos. But that was really it. And he only uploaded within, like, a couple of months. In April of 2018, there was one day where I was in school, and there was a rumor that Fortnite was going to shut down. And, you know, I was, like, really surprised by this, and I thought it was actually real at first. So then eventually, I found out it was fake, and then I decided to make a video. Despite the fact that I don't think it was one of the best videos I ever made, it ended up doing really well. And during the time that I made it, we had just hit 100 subscribers, and then because of that video, we doubled up to 200 within basically a few days. Before this, the most views of a video that I made ever, ever got was like maybe a few hundred. And then when I, when I woke up in the morning, I saw I got a lot of notifications on YouTube. And then when I, I checked the video, I had like 4,000 views. I was just like so surprised and throughout the day it just went up more and more. Even though I sometimes wish that it was a different video that did this well because obviously, like I said, it wasn't the best video I ever made. But I'm still really fortunate for how well it did and how much it helped out the channel. And a few months later, in the summer of 2018, Germ started to do videos with me, and eventually we decided to go with the name Panda Legacy for the channel. After that is pretty much where we get into what we do now, which we have 
Fortnite videos on creative maps. We, do, we still do some funny moments sometimes. We play some other games on PlayStation. So the last thing I want to do is just talk about some of our most successful videos over these last couple of years. Just about a month or two before that video, I uploaded this Fortnite quiz, which ended up getting over 5,000 views, although it took a few months for it to actually start gaining a lot of views. Then, in November of 2019, I got a supported creator code, and that led to two of my most successful videos because I started uploading my own maps. These two were a gunfight map, which ended up getting 1.2k views, and a sniper's only map, which actually has 29k, and I think maybe one day it'll pass the other video and be the most popular on the channel. Finally, here's our stats for the first 5 years on YouTube. With over 100,000 views, 2,000 hours of watch time, and 320 subscribers. I appreciate everything that we've gotten so far. And I want to say thanks to all my friends who have helped me on my YouTube journey, and all the subscribers and the people watching the videos. That's all I have to say. Um, it's been a great 5 years on the start of YouTube, and uh, hopefully we have some more better things to come. And thank you for watching the whole video through.